Good evening and welcome to the Daily Market Update. The DSEX remained in the green zone and gained 41.14 points, or 0.72%, settling at 5,735 points. Market turnover was 5.95 billion Bangladeshi takas, which is an increase of 7.43% compared to the previous trading day. Brahmin Phone Limited, Bangladesh Submarine Cables and Robbie Axiata PLC from the telecommunications sector, British American Tobacco, Beach Hatchery and Olympic Industries from the food and allied sector, and Islami Bank, Brack Bank and D Dutch Bangla Bank from the banking sector mainly pulled the market up today. In terms of sector-wise return, the telecommunications sector posted the highest gain of 4.66%, while the food and allied sector registered the second highest gain of 2.17%. On the other hand, the NBFI sector posted the highest loss of 0.52% today. Five insurance, three banking and three telecommunication companies were among the top 20 gainers today. SK Trims and Industries, Sonali Life Insurance Company and Islami Commercial Insurance Company Limited registered the highest gain while Hami Industries, Orion Infusion and Orion Pharma were the top losers today. SK Trim saw a rise in value as the company informed that the Honorable High Court Division on the 18th of September 2024 has issued a stay order quashing order passed by the Metropolitan Sessions Judge Court previously regarding freeze of bank account of the company. As per the stay order of the Honorable High Court Division, there is no problem on the company's banking operations from now. The value of Orion Infusion and Orion Pharma fell because the Bangladesh Financial Intelligence Unit, BFIU, directed banks to freeze the accounts of Orion Group Chairman Obaidul Karim and Managing Director Salman Obaidul Karim as part of a broader financial investigation which negatively impacted the pricing of the concerns. There is no publicly disclosed price sensitive information for the price change of the remaining stocks. The trading volume of New Line Clothing's Dominage Steel Building Systems and Utara Finance and Investments increased significantly today compared to the average trading volume of the last three months. There was no publicly disclosed fundamental reason for the volume increase for the above-mentioned stocks. Top two news today. Bangladesh's external debt reached 103 billion United States dollars by June, rebounding after a brief dip in March, with 83.21 billion United States dollars owed by the public sector and 20.57 billion United States dollars by the private sector, according to central bank data. Total debt rose by 4% in the April to June quarter compared to the previous period, with public sector debt increasing by 5.32%, while private sector debt grew by just 1.37%. Industry experts say private sector borrowing has slowed due to rising global interest rates, which jumped from 1% to 2% three years ago to 8% to 9% now, and a stronger U.S. dollar. While the debt level remains within IMF-recommended limits, it is becoming a growing concern amid mounting economic challenges. Global fertilizer suppliers have halted shipments to Bangladesh, canceling scheduled deliveries due to unpaid import bills amounting to 80 million United States dollars, according to sources. This debt, owed to suppliers from countries like China, Saudi Arabia, Canada and Morocco, also includes unpaid shipping costs. Over the past three months, around 600,000 tons of fertilizer have not been imported. Raising concerns about future supplies, the Agriculture Ministry, relying on current stocks of TSP and DAP, expects to meet demand until November 2024 but warns of a potential fertilizer crisis by late December. If urgent imports aren't arranged, shortages could disrupt agricultural production, potentially causing nationwide unrest. That's all for today. Thank you.